How to Heroes Heart, this is Kyle Ferguson, and I'm sitting down today again with the tank expert, Lobber. And he's got a Malganus for me. I'm so excited. I love this hero. How did this happen? Is this hero allowed to play? And is he actually good? <laughs> Uh, I think Magalus is in a, like a good, like fine spot for 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 being like the hero he is. He's like a niche hero uh, that has to Five. some uh, requirements has to be met uh, to be able to pick him, and that is like the enemy team has low hard CC um, and uh, like not one shot ability, so they can't like you super one shot you. So, like one shots like last right or is, or is there something else in there that you'd be more afraid uh, of? I, I, like any any one shot just any one shot but because uh, i have a medivh it kind of like negates the one shot so okay. the hero gets enabled a bit and you got to last last pick in this game so you got to see yeah. everything coming at you and you mentioned the low cc so we've got johanna who is definitely low cc until 10 yeah. and mm -hmm. other than that what uh, olaf stun and uh, Tychus Grenade, if you even wanted to do Dark Conversion, I guess? Yeah, and his arrow, and that's about it. Okay, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. a lot of CC, like... Um, so there was definitely low CC. I also picked it because my team really wanted me to pick Maganus. They're like, oh yeah, go Maganus, go Maganus. <laughs> they wanted to see Maganus, so... We were having a bit of fun, uh, this game. Um, and we, we, we decided that we wanted to play Maganus uh, as a team more... Uh, it was more their idea, but, but to, to be fair, than mine, but uh, it was a good pick anyway, so I decided to play it. Yeah, welcome. You guys were in the free agent tournament. This is the finals. You're in game three with 2-0 yeah. right now, so you had games to wiggle a little bit. Should have come to that. But uh, I, I remember when Malganus first kind of hit the scene and had a heavy presence. It was kind of around that time they buffed ETC with the mic check, mm -hmm. and that... ETC just being such a huge counter to Malganus, he kind of disappeared. So, you mentioned the low CC. Is that still an issue now that we're not really seeing ETC as much? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of heroes that had a lot of CC in mm -hmm. the game right now. Uh, and the meta is also very, uh, like, CC-focused, I think. Like, uh, I would say you can't even pick Malganus if the enemy team has Brightwing, for example. Because of oh. the polymorph, the point and click stun or CC, because um, Malganus' tankiness all comes from his uh, passive, um, which is basically every time he deals damage, he heals. Um, so if he's not an enabled to, to use his abilities to use his auto attacks on heroes, he's not at all as tanky as, as other tanks, I would say. Um, so you really want to be able to pick him into a situation where, where you are enabled to use your spells, use your auto attack without being, you know, CC'd for a million years. Is there any merit to perhaps an idea that if the tank absorbs the Brightwing polymorph, therefore the assassin didn't and the tank's doing their job? Uh, or is there's it a way to that. Malganus yeah. dies and it doesn't matter as much. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes even if the if the even if the CC is like not used uh, or used on the tank. Uh, then it's, it's still gonna be hard for for the for the carry to be able to come in and play the game if your tank is like 10 percent hp that makes sense um, so you can't yeah. enable the squishy hanzo to step up and now they're zoned out because the tank is zoned out the tank goes and heals exactly. nobody can do anything and yeah. they've they've succeeded in ceasing the the whole team in that way yeah usually like yeah, the tank's job is to to do better job of trading your HP par versus the other tank, in a way. Um, and Meganus is good on to do that if the enemy team has no CC, because then he can sustain forever, basically, in a fight. It definitely would make him hard to balance, because you can't give him more mm. damage, because that gives him more healing, and anything you do to him in yeah. general is going to affect his survivability. Exactly. Um, but I think he's in a pretty good spot right now, because I think he is very con counterable, but he also has his moments where you can pick him. And I don't like uh, heroes that you can pick in every situation. Just uh, like I think in Hots, um, you should like adapt and uh, and pick you know heroes and stuff that are good in uh, this situation, and you don't pick them in other situation. But like you know the OP tanks like May, for example, you can pick May in like every game, and she's good. Um, so that's what I like about Yannis, because you need to find that like angle with him. To pick him when he's good and when you find that angle and you you see that game where he's good and you pick it out 
and you just completely stomp the game. Oh, it's great. It's lovely. But you did get last pick here, so probably same thing in Storm League. People would want to yeah. wait much, much later to even go for the Malganus. Yeah, I would say Malganus is a hero you can only 4-5 or 5 uh, mm. most of the time. And that means that you can uh, you can only pick him in um, the 4th position or the 5th position. Tell me a little bit about your talents here that have been built up in the background. You got Time to Feed, which normally I see wing guard, but you're up here against a Tychus. Uh, I guess uh, Hanzo shoots pretty hard, but what, what, what's Time yeah, to uh, Feed doing for you? Uh, well, Time to Feed got buff in the in the latest patch to Malganus. Uh, so it just heals more. And also, if you... Um, so Time to Feed basically is every time you deal damage to somebody, who um, you haven't to for six seconds. Um, they uh, you you gain like an HP boost basically. You get a heal. Um, so if you manage to tag that on a lot of people, you get a lot of HP very very fast. And then if you do your combo with uh, the time to feed with E after that combo, you get like twice the amount of healing basically. So that that's what they added in the last patch. They added so E reapplies time to feed oh and that was just a massive buff yeah so uh, we're we're seeing it here in your ai in your view with the little teeth marks the, the, the yeah. little fangs that's letting you know you can get a heal if you swipe exactly. them with your q but putting them back to sleep which you're going to usually q q q and then sleep around and then you can go back into another q yeah okay it's I... just a lot more sustain and multi, a lot more healing um and also wing guard is is it's a it's a good talent um but if they have like any heroes um, that are not uh, uh, that AA focus with a lot of AAs, like fast AAs, like uh, Tychus or like a Viking or something, I don't like blocking that do mm. nothing really. So the, the talent becomes useless. Yeah, the charges way. would just disappear into these tiny auto attacks like Tracer, and that'd be that'd be the end of the talent. Yeah. Uh, and I guess exactly. a little bit of bonus application here because you do have Lost Vikings, which would be three separate targets for time defeat action. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so that's also like really good. That is true. You got um, fueled by torment, which might also speak to these tiny auto attacks. But when I learned to play Malganus, it was all might of Sargeras, no matter when. Mm -hmm. Sargeras, um, Sargeras. Yeah, the 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 armor talent. Yeah. Right? Um, so he has a talent that gives him fifty armors instead of twenty five armor on W, which is really good uh, when you go in and you get focused. Uh, but armor generally don't work against Tychus. Mm. Um, so when he activates his uh, D and start, you know, drilling you, your armor is not going to do anything. But this level 4 Fueled by Torment is going to heal me every time he hits me with those small, small auto attacks. Because even if, like, the auto attack hurts a lot, there's a very... There's small auto attacks very fast, so that procs on my W all the time. So just... Um, just to survive versus uh, Tychus, basically. A, a very particular question here, but does the giant killer that is attached to Tychus' auto attack work as a separate instance of damage and yet double healing by Fueled by Torment? Oh, that I do not know. Uh, it's probably very crunchy. Not. Probably not. Yeah, I assume I'm not. I'm not sure, uh, but I assume not, yeah. Because I, mean, I, I wouldn't uh, assume it... the same if like a, a raven like you have here with Mediv also flew mm. because you auto attack. That would be augmenting the auto attack, not a bonus instance of damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. So I don't think it, it, it works double. But it's good enough without it. <laughs> now you mentioned the Mediv here who is saving you from the burst that would counter Malganus in some ways. Also in addition to the CC problems. Is uh, yeah. Malfurion here a good tag on because he's definitely following up your sleeps with his own roots and sleeps yes yes uh malganus um malf is probably the best support combo uh with uh malganus because malganus kind of works like a tracer so like hmm. uh malfury puts the heal on you and then you can go deep and you can go in and then he can heal you from a safe distance uh while you're in there you know fighting around also uh you have insane amount of cc together like, I have my Q with my knockout, and then my sleep, and then afterwards, Malf hits his sleep on a root on the target, they get rooted, and then they get slept from his level 1. So, they basically can't move for for 4 seconds. Uh, it's very good. Very good synergy. It also has great synergy with uh, Blood Rush, my level 13. 
Um, so every time I heal, I get movement speed up to 15%. Uh, and when I have a Malf Q on me, that triggers that. So I basically have um, healing, constant healing and constant, constantly 15% movement speed because I keep getting healed by Malf. And this says on the text here, it's saying that it is healed by a hero. So that includes yourself because you're a hero healing mm -hmm. your hero self. Yeah. 15% movement as well. speed sounds terribly disappointing. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like a lot, but actually 15% movement speed with my Ganus is pretty, pretty massive because it helps you re reach the, the, like, the enemy carry that you wouldn't reach prior to it because they can, you know, just kite you run away. And um, it just makes you be able to dodge uh, spells reliably, like just move around the map uh, more efficiently. It's actually a pretty big deal that you don't really think it's gonna be, but when you play with it, you can feel feel the the movement speed. That makes sense, particularly with something like Carry and Swarm, where you want to be sitting on top of as many heroes as possible, getting healed up and dodging an instance of damage. If you are 15% faster than a non-15% faster hero, you are going to heal on them and stick to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about yeah, uh, exactly. what about Will of Tychondrius? Is there any option beyond this one at seven? Uh, you can also go Black Claws um, if the enemy team has like uh, maybe an Abateur and and uh, only two melees. I would guess uh, you can go it. Or that uh, the enemy team really doesn't have a tank. Maybe in Storm Lake uh, League they pick triple range carry, and then Black Claws is probably better. But uh, with this is also another talent that they buffed. Um, so they buffed it. So um, if at least four he enemy heroes are hit with it for the first uh, two slashes, then uh, you get a stun with the, uh, above the knockout. Uh, knockout. So then basically, if you hit. Uh, hit that so you get the uh, get the uh, stun then you always can get your e off afterwards and sleep them so it's like a reliably like the combo just gets more reliable with the qe combo okay so it's kind of a, a double stack thought there one being that if the enemy has extreme squishies that you can get back to deal bonus damage to reduce their armor you're gonna help delete mm -hmm. those but even more yeah. so in a situation like Abathur you mentioned, you don't have the targets to actually mm -hmm. hit with the Will of Tachondrius to get the bonus exactly. done. Okay, yeah. that makes perfect sense. All right, nice, yeah. And then- uh, Good uh, good, uh, good that you expl uh, explained that, that's uh, good. Uh, no, I, I never thought of it like that, that's great. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Plague Bats, uh, Malganus finally gets lane clear at level 16. Uh, <laughs> are any of these other options good for Talent level 16? Is, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, Blight as a Bat is actually pretty pretty decent now. Um, the thing with Blight as a Bat is that it removes your vision. And uh, me, personally, I'm a very visionly played tank. So sure. I, play, I like to play with vision a lot. So I uh, rely a lot on my vision when I like do engages and uh, look for fights. Um, so it's not really an option in, in competitive. I think in Storm League, uh, where it don't, doesn't really matter as much to vision, uh, then I think Blindness Bath, especially with this level 7, uh, just works well, very well together. So I think um, this uh, this 16 Plague Bats and um, Blindness Bath is like the, the two good talents you can pick. Well, and there's something really important you're doing that is kind of easy to ignore when looking at Malganus is you're popping your W as soon as you're engaged. It's not something that's like there to save your life like a shield, like people might play Iron Skin Johanna in Storm League. You need that mm -hmm. armor in order to get to where you're going. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this time it's also worked because I didn't go to armor. So my W isn't as impactful as it could have been. Mm -hmm. um, it also uh, helped me like with the, the prior burst so I can get the W up later in the fight as well. So instead of getting just one W off in a fight, I get two W out. Oh, you were also there to bully Tychus and <laughs> just yeah. push him out. <laughs> I mean, we were having fun this game for sure. We were testing our limits and, uh, you know, playing for combos and uh, Orphea stacking her level uh, seven on Vikings and, and such. So we were kind of, you know, having a lot of fun. I was playing very in your face, which you want to do in Morganis, but maybe I was 
but we're doing it a little bit this game i mean there is no better way to like, he heals by the damage he deals it's the only yeah. like the last thing you want to be doing on malganis is hiding behind a wall or exactly trying to With see Malganis, you, can... you just gotta go in and yeah. you gotta hope that you live basically so you as soon up... as you hesitate and you stop dealing damage that's that's when you die as well again right just walking away is the worst thing you can do at least try to get asleep and a little bit of noise on your yeah. way out <laughs> so you got alone in the dark here uh for big recovery, like you're, you're behind on Malganis, it seems like continuing the carry and swim with the chance of the big money, everyone slept, win a team fight sort of moment, that's the way to go. But alone in the dark, is this was this the part of the fun or is this actually uh, good? I mean, this is a good talent, but you should always go ult upgrade. Uh, the reason I took this was because I've already used my ult and we just hit 20 mm -hmm. and Quite we're fair. going core. So, yeah, you've got uh, 70 you... seconds left on it. Exactly. So if you... Uh, if you ending or playing for an end, you should you want to get um, um, talents that help you that with that. So picking alt upgrade would be useless unless we lost on court, I guess. Uh, um, but uh, I would say that the swarm upgrade, uh, seekers seeker swarms, I think it's called, um, is like one of the best twenty abilities in the game. It's just so strong. You can do your combo. Uh, you can sleep into Q, you can Q into sleep, and then you pop R when you're like 50% HP, and then you heal up to maybe 75, and then the bats come out and sleep everyone around you, and you do the combo again. It's just hard for the enemy team to, to play around that. And uh, you can always use it as an engage as well. You can R from a bush when the enemy team don't see you, and then you can exit just as you are is about to finish and then you insta sleep everybody because they can't react and they can't get away from the bats and then your team can come up and you can you know wombo combo them and finish a game like that probably a great idea when they have that cc where you won't even be able to get it off because it is a very interruptible ability mm -hmm. um it is an interruptibility but the, the the cool thing with that ult is that it's a movable channel ability so uh knockbacks do not interrupt it uh roots do not interrupt it so uh, you can you can do a lot of um, things that people like think they're gonna interrupt it because they don't know the interaction. Like say Tychus like uh, thinks he can grenade it, so he grenades you, but it doesn't interrupt it because it's a movable channel. Um, oh. So they get uh, some people don't know that, and uh, then they get surprised and uh, they have to pay with their life uh, because they didn't know it. So that's something you need to uh, think of. But dark conversion, the other old is interruptible by a knockback yeah yes yes because then you're standing still and you're not moving uh while you're while, while you're channeling right you're channeling hmm mm -hmm. it might need might need a little upgrade then if people are going to be using that one yeah yeah yeah. Uh, i would say dark conversion is uh, more, of a, more of a meme talent um it's a better it's a better 10 ability in a way um but uh, the 20 is like the, the art like this 20 um Seek his form. It's just so amazing. So you always want to go this ult, I think. Awesome. Any other advice for anybody who's curious to pick up Malganus? Um, you can go to my stream. I play a lot of uh, Malganus on my stream. There you go. Um, so if you want to see that, I also have a, a, a video guide on my YouTube channel uh, on Malganus. So yeah, um, twitch.tv slash laubergg. Fabulous. Well, thank you for joining me for this rundown of your very quick Malganus game here, but awesome <laughs> to see him. I hope to see him in the CCL, and I hope to see you in the CCL. Good luck to you in the upcoming draft. Thank you. And everyone, be sure to stay tuned here at youtube.com slash Heroes Hearth for more Learn to Play Heroes of the Storm content. Like, subscribe, ring that bell, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!